Hello Capricorn, welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys for joining me. This is going to be for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. Let's see what comes out for you guys today. I hope you guys are doing well. Please remember to take what resonates and leave what does not fit for your situation. Also remember to flip or switch the roles as they apply. Okay, I could be talking about someone else in your energy. So let's see what's going on for you guys, Capricorn. Spirit guides, angels, ancestors for Capricorn. Give me clear messages. Okay, bottom of the deck, we have three of cups. Okay, so that's cool. So a celebration, a party, a get-together, a gathering, a reuniting. Okay, maybe. So let, let's see. So the Ace of Swords wanted to pop out. We have brilliant ideas that may need refinement, overcoming obstacles with faith that everything will work out, communicate clearly and concisely, remain objective. Okay, so the Ace of Swords here. So there's some truth and clarity coming towards you about a situation or there's some type of breakthrough here that is happening for you guys, Capricorn, in the situation. Could be happening this winter with this um, card with this uh snow on this card or i don't know but i'm hearing a victory there's gonna be a victory yeah i just said that and the six of wands i turned the six of wands over and this is what comes out it says victory wise choices that bring public recognition and success promotions awards or scholarships beautiful okay so yeah i feel like whatever ideas that you're coming up with in regards to your work or whatever you're trying to do when it comes down to your life just in general you're getting a victory out of it okay you're seeing through any type of illusions you're gaining clarity okay you're definitely on um, brainstorming new ideas that could possibly lead you into a wish fulfillment happiness success joy okay what else you could be dealing with the aries leo sag we have the knight of wands yeah very fired up about something Passionate, confident, charismatic, restless, events requiring immediate action, trust your instincts, stay focused, a passionate relationship. Okay, so somebody could be coming in towards you, a fire sign that they're very passionate about you. You have the Ten of Cups. They're very passionate about you here. So let's see, we're going to clarify these. Well, this is just you taking action on your endeavors that you have going on. You're in a very, um, I feel like you're in a very fertile period. You're very creative right now. So whatever passionate endeavor you have that you want to bring to light or start i feel like now is a good time to do it it's coming up in your reading some of you guys there could be some travel involved maybe you guys need to take a vacation or you're going to maybe somewhere hot yeah we have cold here and then we have hot here so i don't know maybe you guys want a climate change we have release Endings that lead to new beginnings, the need to release situations or people that hold you back, spiritual transformation. So that's the death card. Yeah, something here had to come to an end. You're finally seeing the truth about something. You're gaining clarity about it, okay? And it's helping you to move on from a situation. Okay, what else for Capricorn Spirit, please? King of Cups. Trustworthy, honorable, devoted, cautious, someone you can completely trust, a situation that is safe, a solid romantic relationship, hidden but well-intentioned emotions, a charitable benefactor, seeing a counselor. So there could be a masculine energy here, King of Cups energy that is coming into your life, Capricorn, that is going to be a victory. It's lining up with Six of Wands. So this person does have good intentions. They want to bring you a love offer. I feel like they want to tell you how they feel. Maybe somebody here has had an ego death. They're coming out of their ego and trying to get more in, into their heart space here. They could have been very cold, very distant. Or this could be somebody new coming into your life. Who knows? I'm going to clarify. Let's see. What is, um, oops. What else for Capricorn Spirit? One more, please. The sun. Beautiful. Leo energy, a time of great joy and success, brilliant epiphanies that lead to magical magical opportunities, plans that work out perfectly, gratitude to the divine. So yes, happiness, success, joy, triumph. You're triumphing over anything that was in your way. You're moving things out of your damn way. This is nice. Bottom of the deck, we have the dreamer, which is the fool. A new start, trust yourself, push your fears aside and take a leap of faith. Wow, Capricorn. So let's see what's coming up. What's going on? For you guys this looks really good the spread looks nice i mean shit yep so there's a new beginning coming or somebody's taking a leap of faith towards you could be an aquarius or aries 
we have Scorpio, and then we have Leo. Those are the majors here so far. So let's see, why is this Ace of Swords here for Leo? I mean, <laughs> for Capricorn. <laughs> could definitely be dealing with the leo or have this highly aspected somewhere why is this here for um why is the ace of swords here for capricorn spirit please and thank you <clears throat> seven of wands mm. why is this um ace of swords here for capricorn page of swords and the two of cups yeah you're, you're you have your eyes on someone that you love here capricorn you love someone here you know that someone's your soulmate or for some of you, you guys are looking for your soulmate like you you're trying to figure out like when is my soulmate going to come towards me okay why haven't i talked to them or where are they at you could have been confused about this person with these clouds here you could have been very confused or there could have been a lot of obstacles that you needed to climb to get to this person but i feel like here it is you found out the truth. You're really seeing that you do love someone. You have emotions for someone, but you could have been very stern or this could be somebody, you could be dealing with the air sign, but somebody is definitely watching you here. They want to bring you some type of mess message about how they feel, about how they want to be in a partnership with you, a union with you. Yeah, collab with you in some type of way. Somebody's trying to figure out how to communicate. Maybe someone has communication issues. They don't know how to talk or express how they feel. So it's a little hard for this person to tell you, but I feel like they're trying to brainstorm different ideas and how to conduct a message through text or I don't know, however you guys communicate, but someone has definitely got their eyes on you though. Yeah. Let's see. Why is the six of wands here for um, Capricorn? Why is the six of wands here for Capricorn? And four of pentacles. Four of wands. Yeah, I feel like this is someone that is holding on to you. So for some of you, this could be a twin flame dynamic here. But for some of you guys, if you were saving for a house, applying for a job, I mean, um, that too, or applying for like a, a, a loan or a car, I feel like you're going to get a victory in it. You're saving up for a home, maybe. Okay, you're holding back on spending your money so you can get this home, so you can get this relationship. For some of you guys, you guys are going to have like a nice house warming here, but there's a celebration Maybe you're saving up for some type of marriage that you want to. You want to you wanna, you wanna uh, give someone a ring here. You want to become engaged to someone. You want to offer, you want to propose to someone here. That's what I'm trying to say. I don't know why I'm saying everything else but that. But yeah, you want to propose to someone, it looks like. You're saving up for a ring. I feel like you are holding on to something. Or you could be holding back. Let's see. Let's see. What is this four of pentacles? The Wheel of Fortune wanted to pop out. What is this Four of Pentacles? The Three of Pentacles. Yeah, you, you're trying to uh, work on something here, Capricorn. You're collabing with someone or something. There's a partnership here that you um really enjoy, possibly. It's helping you to grow. It's helping you mature. Whatever this collaboration it was collaboration is with this Three of Pentacles is helping you out a lot here. I feel. Hmm. For some of you, you wanted this job for three or more years. Could be three or four. Or you wanted this house for three or four. Some of you guys could be seeing four or four. You're studying something. You're learning something here. Some of you guys could be studying real estate or something like that. Going to school for real estate. But you're very dedicated to something though. Your hard work will pay off. Yeah. Yeah. You're building on success. Wow. For some of you guys, you guys are flipping homes. That's what I'm picking up for some of you. You're studying how to flip homes or something. You're very attentive. Um, attentive <laughs> to detail. You pay attention to detail a lot. You could have Virgo somewhere in your chart is what I'm picking up. Or could be dealing with the Virgo. What is this Knight of Wands here for Capricorn? Very interesting. Could be dealing with the Pisces. Six of Swords. Yeah, you want to move things to calmer waters or something here is moving to calmer waters. The devil with the hermit. I feel like you're working hard on something. But there could be a situation that you were stuck in. You could have been stuck dealing with a player or you didn't know how to get out of this connection with this person. But I see this is more so you taking action out of this situation or whatever situation this is. 
you're going down a path that is more meant for you here with the six of swords some of you guys could be moving yeah like i said moving somewhere hot and it's going to cause for a celebration but i feel like you are making sacrifices you're letting things go that are not serving you so you can go down your right path i do feel like you are definitely making good sacrifices so let's see what is this um the hangman here for for capricorn But yeah, the Nine of Pentacles, beautiful. Then we have the Lovers, Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, so you guys are single. You're very independent. This could be someone you're going towards, but this is you, like, in all your glory. You're really um, enjoying the fruits of your labor, enjoying the money that you've made for yourself here or that you are going to make. I feel like whatever this move is, is a good move. Whether you're going into a new relationship or whatever this is, your money is going to look really, really good. Your business is going to flourish if you have one. Some of you guys could like to garden here. I feel like you want to move somewhere more warm, somewhere warmer where you can actually um, garden, okay? Because, I don't know, this cold weather is uh, annoying. To me personally, it's annoying. Yeah, but you guys are definitely coming into a very abundant time, though. I feel like you're you're coming up. You're definitely glowing. Yeah, and the more you, you work on yourself, you're going to prosper. You're going to be abundant. You're going to mature, this could be a feminine energy that I'm talking to. It doesn't have to be. Yeah, for, for you guys that are older or some of you guys are retiring early and moving away and, you know, starting a life somewhere else, really enjoying the, you know, the time here that you have on this earth. Some of you guys are um, going into financial freedom here. You're going to be very content, content, you know, with what you have going on. So that's nice. So this is somebody coming into your life. They see you this way. You're very beautiful. You're very um, content with what you have. Okay. Make sure you don't get stuck, though. You might have released this person, but I don't know. I don't see that like that. I see that this is more of you just taking action on your, your endeavors here, and you're moving forward in your life. You could be moving forward from this person, from this Knight of Wands person that kept you stuck. You're single now. You're free. You're ready to move on. Just period. So let's see, why is release here the death card? Why is the death card here for Capricorn? The Will of Fortune and the Four of Swords. Yeah. So a lot of things are, are changing here. Some of you guys could be possibly going through a spiritual awakening where you just, yeah, the sun, the emperor. Wow. You guys are needing to take time to rest. Um, yeah, because I feel like a lot of things are changing so suddenly and it's just making you, you could be a little bit burnt out, like tired. But I feel like you are resting from a time of having to release certain things, let go of certain things. It's probably put you in a position of um, <coughs> you just feel, feel very tired, you know, getting rid of things that are not serving you could be a hard task when you have people that are refusing to let you go or not wanting to like, you know, people are just weird like that. So, yeah, but I see good fortune, good karma coming towards you here. Could be dealing with the Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius. Or like I said, Pisces, strong Leo. But yeah, there's something good coming towards you after the time of resting, healing. Okay, thinking things through. Taking that time to yourself. Maybe some of you guys need to meditate. You'll get more answers if you meditate. Some of you guys are having a lot of dreams. Pay attention to your dream state here. Yeah, what is this King of Cups? What is this King of Cups for Capricorn? We have the Ace of Swords again, clarifying that Ace of Swords up there. So double confirmation. Yeah, this person, this is this person that's in love with you. They want to speak how they feel, but they are so nervous, this person. They are nervous as fuck. There's some anxiety around this for whatever reason. Maybe they have to tell you some type of truth other than their feelings. Maybe they, they want to tell you something else about their past or something that happened with you too. What is this nine of swords? Somebody's really anxious. What is this nine of swords for Capricorn? Three of swords. This person could have been hurt in the past. So this is somebody that hurt you. They've just, they've just matured here. They want to be more honest, be more authentic with how they feel. But somebody here is sad and crying, depressed. What else for the nine of swords? The lovers. Yeah, they chose someone over you here. They're really depressed about this. They're sad. They're upset. 
okay they, they really are in love with you okay you guys can have a strong intimate connection a strong sexual connection as well as long, as well as emotional and mental really with the lovers here in the two of cups it's a definitely a strong twin flame or soulmate connection four of wands will of fortune yeah someone had to had to end maybe a connection here they chose someone over you could be a gemini you're dealing with they're very heartbroken about how things turned out with you two. What was that? Mm. Um, yeah, they want to bring you some type of clarity and truth. <laughs> That's just period. This person is in love with you. They know that they have a, a strong divine soulmate connection, a strong divine soul connection to you. So they're being led to bring some type of truth and clarity. So expect communication because it's coming. What is the sun? So it could end up very, very good here. What's the sun? Oh, King of Swords in reverse. The Page of Pentacles. So something here is going to be exposed about someone here. The lies, the deceit. Whoever this is in this King of Swords energy in reverse could be a masculine energy that you're healing from here. Yeah, with the Temperance and the Star, you're healing from this person or whatever. This person, I don't know if they're trying to offer you something, something little, but they're in reverse. So they're not, I don't know, they're not a good person. They're a liar. They're deceiving you in some type of way. I feel like you know this, though. Something here is going to be exposed about them. This person could be a tyrant. They're very um deceitful. They hide a lot of things. They're very cold and, like, cold-hearted, very distant, very aloof. Could be an Aquarius, Libra, or a Gemini. I feel like, yeah, whatever this person lied, this is that same person. Whatever they lied to you about is going to come to surface. It's going to come to the surface with the sun. <clears throat> yeah, somebody is very power crazed. Like, they just want control over you in some type of way. They could even be violent here. What is this King of Swords in reverse for Capricorn? Six of Cups, yes, yeah, someone from your past, someone that's thinking about you. What is this King of Swords in reverse? Three of Cups, is this someone that put you in a third party? This person wants to reconcile with you. So you can have two kings here. One is upside down, one is upright with the King of Cups and one is in reverse. One more for this King of Swords in reverse. I think that was a death card. Yeah, you completely ended things with this person. Yeah, you end things with them, but they're thinking about you. They're dreaming about you. They're really hoping that you come forward or they can come forward to reconcile with you. But I feel like there's someone else that you have on your mind that you want to be with. This person is a liar anyway, so I really don't think you should give them another chance. <laughs> it's just my opinion with them in reverse. This could be a baby daddy. Somebody could be an absent father. Yeah, with the Page of Pentacles, this is somebody that could be paying you child support here. Somebody that you can have children with. But they've already been exposed with the sun, or they are going to be. They could be trying to offer you something. What is this page of pentacles for Capricorn? The sun again. Yeah, this. so there's an offer coming to you. I feel like that's going to make you happy. Then you have this person coming in. I feel like also the sun just stands for you already knowing. You are already enlightened about what kind of offer this is, what they're going to do, how they're going to do it, and that type of thing. But I do feel like there's an offer coming in towards you that is going to be trustworthy with the page of pentacles and the sun. You're starting over. You're starting fresh. You're starting new here. Some of you all are getting good news about a job offer. This could be like a boss or something that, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe you had a work relationship where you were in love with your boss or whatever. But I do feel like... um this person is trying to offer you something that they've already been exposed about. Like, you already know what type of person this is. But this is something new for you. You're starting new. You're starting fresh with the Page of Pentacles. Or this person, this is just this person having to pay you child support or something. But, yeah, definitely strong Leo energy. So let's get some more information about who, what, and where. Let me see Get some details about who these people are. Or... Ooh, let's see. 
Fear guys, angels for Capricorn. What is going on? Or who are these people here for Capricorn? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, <clears throat> North Node. Has been in your proximity at least once in the last six months. Okay. Can speak more than one language fluently. Will come into your life when you least expect it. And then it says has blue eyes. We have has more vowels and consonants in their last name. Okay, what else? Has a has a severe allergy, <laughs> goes by a nickname. Has a personal pride for their collectibles, wears more than two rings frequently. Already knows who you are. We have your past will cross during the next air sign season, so Aquarius season. Then we have at least one third of their body is covered in tattoos. We have has an imperfection in their speech. Will be the one to ask you out. Dyes their hair unusual colors. Let's get a couple more. Has a triple syllable first name. And then we have has lived in more than one country. Bottom of the deck is has lost it, has lost a loved one within the last year. And under that it says is a fire sun sign. Yeah, I told you that theirs is a Leo. <laughs> so let's get some more information. Let's see who these people could be. Let's get some more information about how they will look and stuff or whatever. For Capricorn spirit. So we have L LGBTQ, okay, so Y'all know what that is. Light female. Salt and pepper hair. So this person, you know, could be a little bit older. And then we have long hair male. Curly hair male. Okay. Uh, some more details. We have um, spiritualist. Okay, mature, somebody here mature. So yeah, I'm feeling like an older male maybe. Slim, beauty marks, metrosexual. A couple more spirit, please. I'm gonna pull some more details about this reading. All right, that's fine. Bottom of the deck, we have funny personality. <laughs> Skin marks. Okay, then we have well off. This person is well off, so they got money or whatever. They inherit some nice things or whatever. Blonde male, glasses, curly hair female, stoner. Then we have redhead female. Okay, so let's pull some. What's the tea? Let's see what other details we can get about the situation. Spirit guys, angels for Capricorn. What else can you tell us about this reading? What else can you tell us about this spread for Capricorn, please? And thank you. All right, let's see. <laughs> Bottom of the deck, I saw moving on next, so yeah. You're over whoever this is. They gonna try to come back though. Okay, so we have lonely. So somebody here is lonely or this person is lonely. They miss you, but they wanna come and offer you something dirty though. Dirty offer. 
Then we have scarcity tactics. Yeah, this person could be abusive or something. I don't know, but they offer you something dirty though. So yeah, just be aware of that. Then we have happiness hater. Yeah, they don't want to see you move on. Whoever that is. They don't want to see you move on. What else for Capricorn? We have played out. Yeah, you're tired of this person's shenanigans. You're over it. Then we have into you, good chemistry, great vibes, positive. Yeah, that's that other person. Drama starter. So this person likes to start drama in your life, okay? Cause problems with you and your person. Especially if you got kids with their ass. People are just annoying. What else for Capricorn? We have jackpot. Winning money, got rich, inheritance, unexpected money. Yeah. Then we have family issues. There could be something going on in the family court, I'm hearing for some of you. But you're definitely getting some money here, Capricorn. Move Moves in silence. So someone you're dealing with is moving in silence, or this is you moving in silence. You don't want people to know what, what you got going on. Rightfully so. Then we have broke ass. So somebody here is broke. All right, then we have threatening. Intimidated, threatened, bothered. Okay. it's a lot of weapons in this. Uh, these cards here. Somebody here could... Mm -hmm. what else for capricorn a few more please idol love respected admired idolized fan then we have wolf in sheep's clothing so somebody here could be a fan of you but they're really a hater they really don't like <clears throat> they really don't like you okay queen rising stepping into power praise coming up spotlight yeah so you're this idol this love, respected, admired, idolized fan. And then it says Queen Rising. You're in the spotlight of some sort. Yeah, you're going to get recognition for something. Then we have Cyberbully. You are being bullied online or they are, has suffered from it, etc. Mm. Cock blocking. Yeah. Then we have Fed Up. Yeah, you're tired of this person inserting themselves in your business. Like, get the fuck on. Bottom of the deck is Karmic Friends. Can't trust them fully. Tension, secret competition, keep your friends close and your enemies closer. Uh, yeah, this person is weird. Let's see what um, signs we can get that's um, relevant to this reading. Give you more details about who, what, where, who these people are, and etc. And then we're going to close out. Spirit so guys, angels, in regards to the spread, give me more information for Capricorn. What signs can be involved here? <clears throat> we have Venus in Pisces, Moon in Libra, Sun in Cancer, Jupiter in Capricorn, Jupiter in Libra, Sun in Scorpio, Jupiter in Gemini, Moon in Capricorn, Jupiter in Taurus, and Mercury in Aquarius. Let's get a couple more. Okay, these ones come out, so I'm going to leave them. Let's get a couple more spirit. Then we're going to close. All right, that's enough. Bottom of the deck, we have Mercury in Scorpio. So we have Jupiter in Cancer, rising sign in Cancer, a lot of Cancer energy, Venus in Capricorn, Sun in Gemini, Mars in uh, Aries, North Node in Capricorn, Sun in Capricorn, Sun in Virgo, and Mars in Leo. Okay, so those signs could be significant to your reading, guys. So I hope this did resonate with you. If it did, like, comment, subscribe, turn on your notification bell, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.